The Unbearable Lightness of Being is a 1984 novel by Milan Kundera, about two women, two men, a dog and their lives in the 1968 Prague Spring period of Czechoslovak history. The book starts with a philosophical discussion of lightness versus heaviness. Kundera counters Nietzsche's philosophy of eternal return, or of heaviness, with Parmenides' understanding of life as light. He questions whether any weight at all can be applied to life, for the simple reason that there's no way to return. A person can only choose one path, make every decision once, and not see any alternative paths, in order to compare. Without this ability to weigh them against each other, there's no way for us to find meaning, and this meaning is taken up by an unbearable weightlessness. This uncertainty of weight or lightness, this yin and yang, is the idea used throughout the book. In 1968, Tomas, an exceptional Prague surgeon, has taken up a philosophy of lightness in his encounters with women. He was briefly married before, but he no longer sees his wife or young son and doesn't show any desire to. He's become the everlasting bachelor. When he meets Teresa, a waitress at a cafe in a town he went to visit, and when she promptly follows him to Prague, he understands that she's willing to spend her life with him. Since he's chosen to be a single man, he spends some time fighting the romantic feelings he has for her, but in the end he gives in to them. Teresa has been living a depressing life as a waitress in a small town, with dreams of escaping from her nasty mother. She sees in him somebody that's intellectual, but also has a capacity to dream and she falls for him quickly. They live together, but Tomas can't give up his previous lifestyle, still seeing other women. At first he hides it, but over time he admits to it, saying it's completely distinct from his love to her. But Teresa struggles to deal with his behavior, as she doesn't share this way of life. So much so that she starts having nightmares, and even considers suicide. Tomas marries her, to appease her. He keeps seeing other women though, including his closest and long-term lover Sabina, who's beautiful, very open, and a talented painter. When Teresa gets to know her, she can't help like her light-heartedness, and they become friends. Sabina helps Teresa find a job as a photographer. But despite all this, Therese's jealousy doesn't go away. Because of the events of the Prague Spring, a Soviet military presence is noticed in the city. Tomas, who once wrote an article against the Czech communists, is told it would be wise to leave. Sabine heads to Switzerland, and Tomas and Teresa follow quickly afterwards. Teresa liked her job, as it gave her new purpose but now she's jobless, sitting at home as Tomas has affair after affair. She decides to gather all her strength and heads back to Prague. After enjoying his freedom for a few days, he follows her there. This return truly means giving up freedom, as they won't be able to leave another time. As the political situation gets tenser, Tomas loses his job when he refuses to sign a document where he distances himself from his previous article. Both parties try to sway him to their side, his own son even appears as a young dissident and tells him about his condition, but Tomas has no desire to be used politically. He finally decides to fade to the background, by finding a job as a window washer, but this doesn't diminish his fame and his effect on women that meet him. Teresa now works as a bartender and starts an affair, mainly out of despair with a man she meets at her bar. She does so, in order to get closer to Tomas's way of life, but it makes her sad, and she then becomes convinced the man is a police agent on a job to find potential blackmail material on her. After a long struggle with Tomas, she persuades him to move to the country which means the end of the life they knew, including Tomas's adventures. After having found some peace there, Tomas and Teresa are killed one night in a driving accident, they die in an instant, but together. In Geneva, Sabina has a love affair with Franz, a professor, who has more in common with Teresa than Sabina, 
since his life seems heavy with meaning. He sees her as a romantic and brave Czech dissident, and is heartbroken he needs to betray his wife to see her. Sabina loves him, but has a totally different view to what betrayal means. She sees it more as the first step into the unknown, and it's the most wonderful thing she can think of. When Franz finally leaves his wife, Sabina suddenly leaves for Paris and then for America. She learns of Tomas and Therese's deaths and this gives her the feeling that the last tie to her past has been broken. She lives with an elderly couple and wonders if she's come to the end of her eternal escape. Franz finds consolation in a young student, a girl with big glasses, who just loves him. He never accepts that he didn't understand Sabina, and continues to think of her as his ideal, thinking that his decisions in life would have made her proud. When he dies, his wife reclaims his body and orders the words, a return after long wanderings, to be written on his grave. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.